Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G-Wolf and welcome to Let's Play The Stanley Parable. Now, The Stanley Parable is a game that just came out uh, recently, the other day, and it is one of those games that I recommend you would go out and get yourself if it interests you, because it really is a game that you need to experience because of the way it's structured. I'm only going to play and follow the basic way of playing, and you're going to see what that is in a minute. Um, so if it interests you in some way, and I'll explain it as we go, then I definitely recommend you go out and get this. It's very cheap. Uh, it's not that expensive, actually. And uh, the original Stanley Parable is also a mod available for uh, Half-Life 2, I think. So if you want to try that out before this and get a rough idea on what the whole thing is going to be like, check that out for sure. I'd also like to take this opportunity to apologize for lack of content this week. I've been sick, so I haven't really had a chance to do anything. I try and stay away from doing stuff when I'm ill because I don't like coming on and being all like... <laughs> so I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping everything's going to be okay. I might sound a bit stuffy. But either way, I'll let this game start now because it's got this nice introduction that it can show you uh, to kind of explain what's going on. So here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. And that's the intro. Now, you're going to be hearing that guy talk a lot. So if I really want to explain anything, I really need to kind of stand still. So that might be happening every now and then. So you may notice that some, uh, this might look a little familiar to that of, like, the Source games. Well, I think this was built on the Source engine, so that would probably explain that. And it's actually quite All interesting. All these co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh. The end is never the end is never the end is never... What?! Oh my god, I can turn them off, though. No matter how hard Stanley oh. looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Anyone? Oh my god. The end is never the end is never the end. Holy shit. Okay, so I did do a quick, like, playthrough. Uh, it wasn't that far in, just to check if this game, how well this game would run. And those weren't like that before. I wonder if I can open anything else. Uh, can I grab this? I hate Mondays. I, I hate Mondays too. Actually, no, I like Mondays because that was the uh, the day I'd have my week to myself, which is always nice. I guess there's nothing else to do in here. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. What? Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. Hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Oh Perhaps God. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, 
almost certainly 50 clicks. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. He's tempted me. Let's do it. For great justice. Oh, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. It's going to be a willingness to go all the way, it? no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Uh, uh, fine, all right. Where is 417? What is this? The end is never the end. Why does it keep saying this? All right, fine. I won't do that achievement. I'll do that another time because that that might take a while. <laughs> oh, what did I turn off the PC on the other end? That was weird. Beep beep. That was odd. Okay. Oh, let's give some clicks to this then. <laughs> oh, great. Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Fine. I've, we're gonna do this. What's this? I can't open that one. Four three seven. Is that one back here? Oh, there you go. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere now. Door four one five. Let's give it ten clicks or so. Oh my God! What is happening? Four one five. All this for an achievement, eh? Four one six. Four one five. There we go. Now back to door number four three seven. Okay. Okay. Oh God. I'm going back. I need to do this. This is something that needs to happen in my life. 437? Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? The copy machine? All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. This is this is kind of horrifying in so many ways. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419? Uh, oh, wait, you can't jump! God damn it! Achievement unlocked, you can't jump! Fuck you! Oh... game. This game knows. I'm going to continue on. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Here is where the game actually is known for. So he's telling me to go to the left door. Now, we actually have a choice. Or so we think. But anyway, we have a choice. And you can disobey the narrator. And that's where I want you guys to experience this. Because it's worth it. There are so many different ways you can go. Especially in this update. So much stuff to see. So are we following his orders for this particular video? Uh, or two videos, however long this takes. I don't know how long the game is in general. Um, so I'll be following his orders. Just whatever he asks, I'll do it pretty much. If you want to see the other stuff, I definitely recommend you buy the game and do it yourself. Uh, I will be doing it as well, but I would recommend you do that because it's definitely worth the support. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm, I'm interested in what has changed from the original Stanley Parable. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Whiteboard hoping manager? Hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, I might find an answer there. Okay, okay. Bosses inspection ideas and development. Huh, okay. There's a lot of little details around here. Standard graphs, 40x wide. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Whoa, who moved my desk? Okay. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. You, viewer, are unique to me. Target demographic teenagers. <laughs> yep, that definitely sounds like most gaming stuff. Charts, charts and slides, slides. Wow. The slide to chart radi ratio is off the charts. <laughs> okay, moving on. Broom closet. Oh, oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I bet there's more to that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna savor that. Uh, save it rather, not savor it. 
Savoring into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, we're going upstairs. So many choices that you could do here. Is it there? No, it's not there. So many choices. Oh, this looks fancy. Oh, whoa. Exclusive bathroom. I want to go in. Oh, give me my bathroom. Oh, it won't work. Oh, well. This is fancy. Ooh, ooh, what's that say? I don't know. I want to see what everything says. What does it say? I don't know. Can I go in here? Uh, I cannot. But it does look like there's something back there. Hmm. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an Jeez. indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? And he finds out it's a what weekend. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. <laughs> and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Two, but of eight, course, four, five. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Now, I always wondered if there was a way to trigger it so that you had a proper way to go since you never know it, technically. But, fuck it. Two, eight, four, five. Stanley, yet incredibly, by simply pushing oh, random buttons on the something. keypad, Stanley happened to input oh. the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. What? He stepped what? into the Whoa. newly opened Hello. passageway. Okay. Alright. See, this is interesting, because it never was like this. Obviously, it was just a Half-Life 2 mod. I believe. So it was using all of the assets from Half-Life 2 and stuff. So this is all, like, nicely custom built. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Welp. Time for stuff to get interesting. Huh. Stanley walked Whoa. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But you can escape. Ah, oh, another branching path. Well, I want to follow him, so... What is this? It's a big button. Oh god, what does that say? The oh. lights rose on an enormous room I packed with it. television screens. <laughs> what horrible secret Whoa. did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength crazy. to find out? What does that say? That says something. I wish there was a way to zoom in. Oh, they're, they're numbers, actually. Okay. I don't know if any of this stuff has anything to say, but probably does. There's little details, just little stuff in this that's awesome. What are their cameras? Now the monitors jump to life. Oh. Their true nature well, revealed. That one's a bit glitched out. Each fired. bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives Whoa, of so many this is a bit different. to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Holy shit. Oh, look, a face punch. What? This is crazy. Oh, where am I? 427. There I am. Ah, oh, I want to see my... Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Look, I can see my place. Okay. Jeez. <clears throat> okay. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his Maybe. emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I wouldn't be surprised. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was Ugh. unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was yeah, it even possible? 
Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I don't know, you tell me, you're the narrator! But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, I guess I have to go into the the facility power to do that. Because it is showing me its way. Okay. The mind controls idle awaiting input. Off or on? Oh, ho, ho, here's another choice. We'll go off though. <laughs> Later episodes are going to be very interesting because of all the different ways we can go and the different results we'll be able to see as well. Oh! Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Very nice story. Brings a tear to my eye. Of course, I beat the game, yay. Of course, that's not the end. And we're back once again in room 427. How odd. So, that has been the Stanley Parable. At least the, uh, the positive ending where I'm following the guy's orders. Of course, there's going to be plenty more where that comes from. Because I'm going to be doing all sorts of different directions. And I imagine that... Some stuff is going to seem similar, I guess, say because of choices late down the line of a certain thing. Uh, so we'll see. I'm interested in seeing what happens and if there are any differences in some of the endings. Obviously, there's a lot more branching paths than there is in the original mod. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. To be honest, the game was doing most of the work for the video in this case, because this game is its all about basically leading you through an experience. So... Uh, big, big props to the guys who made this. My god, you have some very clever ideas and writing, so very big well done to you. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Throw us a like if you did, and I'll see you on the next Stanley Parable. Okay, thanks. Bye.